Hello guys, I'm glad to see you all. I'm here with a product review. Now you all know when I cook on when I cook on video, most of the time I use Goya products. The reason why I love Goya products is because it gives your it gives your food a nice rich flavor. And I use it as you can use it for Spanish food, you can use it for soul food, you can use it for just about anything. And I purchased their products on a regular basis. And so I went to the supermarket the other day and I saw this product. And it's the Goya Aro, Aro Compoya. Is that's rice with chicken. And it says tender boneless chicken breast and rice cook with a savory seasoning keep frozen and is 11 ounces so what this is it's like a TV dinner um, it says marinated boneless chicken breast is cooked with rice green peppers peas and special seasonings to create a classic Latin meal authentic homemade taste but ready when you are so I'm a person who loves Spanish food I like most foods from the Caribbean islands and although I'm not Spanish I just love their food I'm going to show you what it looks like I'm taking a plastic off the container and you can see I just warmed it up So you all know the classic Aroca Boya is real, real good. If you haven't never tried it, try some. So what I see right now, it has um, olives, olives in it. I can see little chunks of chicken and I can see some peas in there. So let me... I'm going to drink a little bit of water before I taste it and I'll tell you exactly what I feel about this product. So let me try some. out the most to me is the olives it gives it a distinct taste but you guys let me take some more before I do this review I taste a little bit of tomato, I don't know if it's tomato sauce, but it's a little hint of tomato sauce in there. And the peas are excellent in this meal, but the rice tastes soggy. I just have to be honest. I love Goya products, but I have to be honest. The rice is very soggy tasting. They tried to get authentic taste to it, but I don't know why the rice is so soggy. The chunks of the chicken breast will let you see it. It tastes like a piece of wood. Now, when I purchased this, it was really, it was kind of expensive. And, um, and I'm a bit surprised because everything else I have tried by Goya has really been good. I use some seasonings to season my rice, my food, some everything. 
my food be tasting good. But um, Goya, I love you. But you have to work on this a little more. Give it a more authentic flavor. I would be willing to test this again and give you my opinion on it. Um, it's a great idea because you have people that maybe don't have the time. It takes a lot of time to, to cook Spanish food. And But if it's done like this with the soggy rice and stuff, it, it doesn't make for a good product. But I urge you to try it yourself, see what you think. Um, I think the price could be dropped down a little bit more. And um, I also have to add the way it looks on the box. It doesn't look all that inviting on the box too. So come up with a better box. Put a little, put a little more flavoring into this meal. Uh, find a way to make the rice it's a better rice because it's too soggy. The flavors of the olives I love. I love the peas in it. Get somebody to work on that chicken a little bit more so it can taste more authentic. So, what am I going to give this? What am I going to rate this? I'm going to try it again. This again. I'm gonna give this a six. It has potential now. If I had the time, I would doctor it up a little bit and add a little bit of my own Goya seasonings to it. But when you're buying a TV dinner, you expect everything to be right. So this is my review and I will come back with some more. Love you all, bye.